So when you know when a baby is born, the skull is not completely fused. Um, in order to get out the birth canal, you want to have these plates of bone that can override, and then later in life they could grow together. Oops, sorry. So craniosynostosis is simply a condition where these suture lines fuse a little bit too early. Um, where these sutures converge, you have the anterior fontanelle and then the back posterior fontanelle. So it's kind of a, a pattern to closure, and there's a lot of variability here, but most kids, posterior fontanelle close about three months. Anterior fontanelle could be you know, up to two years. The metopic suture between the two frontal bones around eight months. And then other sutures like the coronal or um, lambdoid, they, they, they close much later in life. So craniosynostosis simply refers to the premature fusion of sutures that then lead, gives rise to abnormal head shape. So really a, a key component I wanted to, to convey here, and then we can get the last remaining questions. Um, you know, growth goes perpendicular to a suture. So for instance, if this sagittal suture is fused, there will be no growth left and right in the perpendicular direction. Instead, growth will occur at the other suture sites. And without growth right left, in this case of sagittal synostosis, you get a very long, scaphocephalic head, almost like a boat shape, people refer to it as, where there's occipital bulleting. So you're, you're basically, by fusing here, you restrict growth in a right-left direction. Um, let's see. Okay. Sorry to bounce around a little bit. Um, in this case here, this is coronal synostosis. So again, your growth occurs perpendicular to your open um, suture lines. In this case, the coronal suture is fused. You're not getting growth up down. You're getting growth now only left right, and this this is a descriptive term brachycephaly. Kind of have this um, widened head. Lastly, um, just basically the way that children sometimes lay. These bones are so soft in young kids that it can lead to what's called acquired um, positional plagiocephaly. So babies may have flattening of one side of the head. Really, the take-home message here. You want to differentiate this from lambdoid synostosis. And what I think of here is, is a mudslide. Basically, in positional plagiocephaly, you think about a mudslide, everything gets pushed forward on the side of flattening. The back of the head is pushed flat here, the ear is, is forward compared to the other side, and then the forehead is pushed forward. So really everything in this direction suggests plagiocephaly. If, however, this is flat and the ear is back, when you're taking a bird's eye look down on the child, that's considered lambdoid synostosis, and that's something that's much more rare and something that you would treat with surgery. Here's just an example of multiple different um, synostoses. But the underlying principle to remember is that growth occurs perpendicular, and when the suture is fused, you don't get growth in that direction, and, and there's too much growth perpendicular to the open suture. All right, so this just shows a few examples. And, okay, so here's just a, in the last few minutes, these are some examples here. So this is sagittal synostosis. You see this very long shaped, boat shaped head. You don't see the sagittal suture here on this 3D reconstruction. Very common, you know, the most common one we see. Coronal synostosis. Uh, if we're looking down, we see that the suture is fused here, that there's a little bit of frontal bossing on the opposite side. Second most common. Metopic synostosis, you have this, this very cone-shaped uh, part of the front of the head, very triangular shape, which you can see here as well. Okay, and lambdoid synostosis. You can you know, definitely see there's an asymmetry with the ears. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.